I am back. Are we triggered yet? Because I am. If you're new here, or if you're not new here and you're just confused, hi, let me explain in like 2.5 seconds. Welcome to my old slash still current college apartment. I traveled a long distance here today to come back to my old stomping grounds of my college apartment in Washington, D.C., which is interesting because I dropped out. <laughs> I don't go to school here anymore. I do not. My lease is finally done. I need to actually exit the premises. You know, I have couches, bed, desk that I needed like a moving truck to actually move. My mom's gonna come up tomorrow and like help me pack up my stuff. Yeah. Immediately as I stepped into the premises, I fell back into my old patterns from like two months ago. And I was just like, I just wanna stay in my room. <laughs> I just wanna stay in my room. I literally turned on YouTube. I didn't hesitate. I turned on YouTube on the TV and I was like, do I really need to exit? Originally, I was like, you know, I want to go see my friends. But as soon as I stepped into this apartment, I was like, I just want to stay here. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Right now, I'm starving because all I ate was a Starbucks sausage, egg, and cheese. Like their version of that. And it wasn't like, you know, very substantial. So I need to go get some food. Sub. I got a meatball sub and some Cheetos. Falling back into the old habits of how expensive the food is here. Hurts my feelings. Oh, should I put this on a plate? But then am I gonna have to wash plates? Like, I'm literally here temporarily. I don't wanna have to wash plates. Coming back here and like sitting down right now, doesn't feel like it's been three months. The apartment itself feels exactly the same. I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel not weird. It feels very neutral. The movers come sometime this weekend. Thursday and Friday, are just gonna be like packing up stuff. I'm kind of scared to go back to campus, but at the same time, I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'm scared. Whenever I'm home, like especially in quarantine, and I'm only around like my parents, my family, I forget how to interact around other people my age. Interacting and like being in the presence of other people, like other teenagers my age, it's a whole different life skill. It's a whole different life skill. And that's only because like I'm afraid of teenagers. I feel like a judgment from a teenager is so much more painful than a judgment from like a 30 year old. Cause like, if a 30 year old is judging you, you're like, well, who the hell are you? But what like, if somebody your age is judging you, we're like, Damn, that hurts my feelings. I'm sure a lot of you guys were like never expecting to see this environment ever again. And honestly, I didn't like really think I would film here, but like honestly, to be quite frank, I did enjoy filming here. Other than like the lighting and the fact that it's like the north facing windows, like, blah, like I didn't shut up about that for like three months. So I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. Like one thing I do actually miss is like having an apartment and like having my own space just because I really love being alone and having the freedom to talk to my camera whenever I wanna talk to my camera and however loud I wanna talk to my camera and like say whatever I want to my camera with without being embarrassed. It's not like my parents don't let me talk to the camera, but like I just get embarrassed. And that's my own internal like, uh, uh, uh. like I'm like, don't listen to me film. And if you hear me filming, don't recite back anything you heard because then I'm deleting myself from the planet. My parents hate when I say like, oh, I dropped out. I say that because it's a lot easier to say, I dropped out of one college and then miss the deadline to apply to another college. That means that I can't go to college the spring semester and I have to wait till next year, fall semester to go to college because I missed the deadline because I decided to drop out last minute to the last college I was in. You know, that's just like a lot. I'd rather just say I dropped out. But in reality, I'm going back to school and actually all seriousness, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited to shout have a little bit more structure. Spring semester has barely even started, but like already I'm like, I kind of need that set structure of like things that I have to plan my life around. I kind of thrive on that. Sometimes I hate to contradict myself, but I'm learning. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna contradict myself a hell of a lot because I don't know what the hell I want. And I'm like figuring out as I do things and I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. So I'm like figuring out what I need in my life. And I think I need like a slight amount of structure. I'm not saying I want a nine to five because I'm okay right now, you know, never say never. But I kind of want that little bit of structure of like oh you have to do homework oh you need to go to class like i i think i kind of need that to kind of like plan my life around make me feel a little bit more productive other than just like editing a video filming a video like that's the only thing that really drives me to be productive but at the same time that's fun for me like filming videos is fun for me editing is really fun for me so i need something that's not fun like i need something that i hate that i'm like uh like i think i need something to complain about and i don't have anything to complain about but i think everybody needs something to complain about in life to create balance that was wildly unfulfilling no matter how much money i spent on it <sighs> also guys can we look at how terrible i am i killed my plant i don't know what i was expecting to come back to not that like that looks i've never seen a plant that depressed
Jesus. Do you guys remember how, like, yesterday I was like, I'm not gonna stay in my room. I'm gonna go visit my friends, have a good time. As soon as I stepped into this apartment, I was like, I just wanna stay here. But we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Mm, this is what happened. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I took a nap. And like that was that was about it. Honestly, that's really what I expected for myself though, because it's so cold and I just don't want to go outside. It's so cold outside. I also woke up today and I was like, hmm, what am I gonna eat? Because again, I have this dilemma where it's like, you know, of course there's nothing in the fridge because like, you know, that would be dangerous for me to leave food in the fridge for three months and then expect to be able to eat it. I don't necessarily like the food around because it's really, really expensive and then it hurts my feelings when I, I buy the food around here because I'm like uh, I could have gone to a deli back home and my meal would have been $3, but instead I just paid 15 That was my mental battle this morning, but then I was like, the grocery store is like five blocks away. It's like 10 degrees. I'm gonna just spend the money. And then I spent the money and ended up not even liking the food. I got a BLT and it wasn't the best. It had a lot of funky stuff going on. All I needed was bacon, lettuce, tomato, and they put like green sprouts, Brussels sprouts. I was confused. But I got hot cocoa, which is rare for me. I walked into the coffee shop because I was like craving something sweet. I had a little sweet tooth. I walked into the coffee shop and I was like staring at the wall. And I, I freaking hate that. I freaking hate when like I have an impulse to like go in somewhere and then like I just don't know what I want and I'm the only one, like there's no line and I'm like the next one up and then like i'm like hey and then i'm just like staring at the menu i genuinely can stare at the menu for like 10 minutes but the fact that i'm just sitting here staring at the menu awkwardly while like you're looking at me like makes me need to make a decision in like two minutes and i was about to blurt out can i get a chai knowing damn well that i don't like the chai from that place and i was like no maya let's think a little bit let's take a little bit more time and then i saw the hot cocoa on the menu and i was like oh hot cocoa like you can't mess up hot cocoa so i was like can i get a hot cocoa in all honesty i walked in there and like my main feeling was like I should walk out but if I walk into an establishment and I'm the only one in there and then the worker sees me and greets me I can't walk out I like it's it's like a mental battle. I will have to buy something to be able to walk out of there if I'm the only one I've already greeted you like we've seen each other we've met I have to buy something but the hot cocoa is good so I'm not mad about it I've also had these two mystery packages I have known have been at the warehouse so it's just been sitting there and I got the notification and I was like you know in, in New York and I was like dang like I want to know what it is so I finally got the packages and I was gonna open it on camera and like be like surprise but I I got impatient so I opened it myself I'm still gonna show you guys though I got this from Curology you guys know I love Curology they saved my skin they came out with this new thing it's called the micellar makeup remover this is it i actually used it last night because i was a way too lazy to wash my face and take a shower and b the water here kind of scares me because i think that's what triggered my breakouts again like all of this i think happened from the three months that i spent here like the water in new york genuinely clears up your skin i think the water in new york is like one of the best things that could possibly happen for your skin and i came here and it was like a drastic shift and my skin kind of went eh. I'm kind of scared to wash my face here so I just used this it worked nice but the part that I like really wanted to show you guys because it was like Ooh, fancy there's like this little pouch and what comes in it are these little reusable swab thingies like they're not called a cotton swab because they're reusable but like a fabric swab 70% bamboo 30% cotton hand wash hang dry and help the planet and I was like mm that's adorable this next thing okay I, I really wish I had opened this on camera because my reaction to this I mean I could reenact it should I reenact it I need to sit down for this reenactment because like I was sitting when I opened this up originally I'll give you the reenactment after I actually show you because it's gonna be very fake if I like you know what I'm saying so I am so baffled and still so confused by this but somebody got me a freaking blow dryer a freaking blow dryer now i'll do the reenactment now my acting skills are about to show through begin scene do, 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 do. oh and scene i was and still am freaking confused on how somebody and why somebody sent me a blow dryer but it says it's from conair and it says this is for the curls but it's like a blow dryer with the curl diffuser part and i've always wanted to try one of these whoever sent me a freaking blow dryer thank you please reveal yourself because i don't <sighs> i'm on the brink of taking another nap which i'm probably gonna do before i do so i wanted to give you guys some much needed advice 
just kidding. It's only needed if you want to need it and if you care. I feel like I'm gonna give out my unsolicited advice that nobody asked for, so let's go. Advice isn't gonna be negative because honestly, I feel like my ideas and my I don't know my thoughts on college have kind of shifted. I think differently than I did three months ago when I like officially dropped out, dropped out. My first thing that I wish I knew before going to college is that it doesn't need to be prestigious. It doesn't need to like have a nice name. It doesn't need to be known across the globe. It doesn't even need to be known in your state, in your country, because that's not the point. I don't like when society makes college seem like that's the point because I don't. I don't think that should be the point and I think that's what really ruins college for me because I think college is great for the perspective of furthering your education. I think that that's lovely because quite honestly what did I learn in high school? The idea of going to another place where like I can learn more about what I actually want to learn more and I can pick and choose and do all that lovely but the whole idea about the name of your school how prestigious it is how much money it costs who you know who's the alums what jobs you can get what connections you can get I don't like that. I wish that I knew that that is not the most important thing and if that becomes the most important thing it can I think negatively affect your college experience that is honestly what happened in my case and just applying for colleges in general I didn't even think of state colleges and I think that's because I had in the mindset like oh I need to go somewhere that has a name top university in some places my mother was like oh like you haven't applied for any of your in-state colleges you should do that and I was like no I literally only applied to two colleges luckily I did get into those two colleges but I literally only applied to two colleges and I wish that I knew then I would have had just as great of an experience at a college that didn't have a name known across the globe and when I'm walking through the airport wearing my college paraphernalia people aren't gonna know the name of my college doesn't matter that much number two it's okay if your interests change when we go into college a lot of us especially me are like afraid of not exactly knowing what you want to do what you want to be and that's completely fine because you have to keep in mind just because you're going to college doesn't mean you're an adult you're not an adult now you may have turned 18 but I mean if you want to think of yourself as an adult Sure, but like you don't have to be an adult. You're still a teenager, you're still growing, you're still developing, you still really don't know like what's going on in your life and you don't have to. So if you wanna change your major, change your major. If you wanna change your classes, like if you lose interest in something, don't feel forced to stay in it. Pursue the major, pursue the degree, pursue the classes that you know you're gonna enjoy because at the end of the day, you're paying for it. And if you're paying for something and you're not enjoying it, I don't see the point. I don't see the point. Don't be afraid to change and lose interest in something and gain interest in something new that you never thought you would gain interest in. And that could also even mean the college that you're going to. I was obsessed with the college that I applied to and was going to, like that was the end all be all. I had dreams about it, it was my home screen. And that changed in like a matter of two weeks. That's fine. The college you dream about doesn't need to be the college that you stay at. There's the ability to transfer schools for a reason. Don't feel trapped in a college that you don't enjoy because of what you expected it to be. I had these expectations of it, I should still try to write it out. But like it's okay to experience other things. You only have one college experience, why put it all into something that you only half like when you could go like try to experience other things, other colleges, find something that you actually really 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 enjoy and then you can make great memories. Three. Go at your own pace. If you're not graduating with your friends, it's fine. If you're graduating before your friends, it's fine. If you need to take a little gap semester, it's fine. If you need to take classes in the summer, it's fine. Go at whatever pace is going to help you stay mentally stable. Because at the end of the day, if you're not mentally stable and you're still trying to like push at whatever sense of normalcy that you're doing in college while also being mentally stable, it's not. <laughs> No matter what, the end result is not gonna be good. Whether it's gonna affect your school and your grades or it's just gonna affect your overall well-being, it's not gonna be a good outcome. So if you need to slow down and maybe lighten your course load or if you feel like you're not doing enough and you feel like you want some more productivity, add some more to your load. Don't feel like, oh, everybody else is doing this many courses. I need to do this many courses, no? Because right now I'm taking a gap semester. My graduation is probably gonna be pushed back a semester and I'm fine with that. Like that, that doesn't necessarily bother me because this is my own pace. The last thing that I want you to know, you sitting out there. It's okay to like college and it's okay to wanna go to college. I feel like the, tr not trends, but like, I don't know, like the stigma. I don't, I don't know, I'm just throwing out words at this point. Like, I think overall, like especially with Gen Z, it's very 
craze to like maybe not go to school, be self-employed, start your own business. Granted, that is a phenomenal thing to do. I feel like that tends to overshadow the people that actually want to go to college and actually want to do different careers that involve being a doctor, being a business person, being a lawyer, like all of those things, we still need those. And those are still amazing jobs. When I talk about like the fact that I left school, I don't ever want people to think that I'm just like, boo, don't go to school. School is terrible. Because I actually like school. I really like learning new things. I just think I want to learn on my terms and the terms that are good for me. So that's to say, if you like college, stay in college. I don't know if any of that made sense, but like basically moral of the story is do what you want to do. Yeah, you guys are never going to ask for advice from me ever again. guys and welcome to a new day a new very 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 cold cold day the movers came and like everything is boxed up everything is ready to go but the movers are still there and it's a small apartment so i'm gonna go visit my friend on campus while i wait for the movers to finish and then my train is at six and then i'm leaving this cold cold place to go to another cold cold place so it's not even like it's much better i'm forking freezing guys a synopsis of like what I was keeping but I'm keeping most of my furniture so that I can put it in my new room to look out for my room transformation you know how to film with other people I'm not an other people filmer this is how you do it ready right um that's not how this you is, do it. this is this is your channel what's up everybody welcome back to my channel oh my name is Max why am I getting stage fright I don't like this a standard college student here. I wouldn't call I actually, myself standard, but continue. I actually met this college student like just randomly while I was walking on the street today. Ooh. And I was like, hey, you look like a college student. You look very like studious. Would you, you know, want to answer a question for me today? So the question of the day today is, what <laughs> do you wish you knew before coming to college? People always told me that like for you to go to college, you need to have a lot of money saved up. I think if you have a meal plan, you can stretch out like $800. Huh? It's I'm losing the context. I don't think that advice was advising enough. <laughs> yeah. Something outstanding. You, as a non-dropout, yet. Yes. <laughs> looks like the greatest thing that you've learned that like you didn't know before. That people are going to party all the time regardless of what you do. And regardless of the day of the week. It could be a Tuesday. You got to be self-disciplined and you got to... Stay focused. Why are we actually giving them good advice? I was expecting like, don't do drugs. I mean, there is that one. All right, let's say you partied all night. Yep. Rager, but this was like a Monday. Okay. Like a Martin Luther King day. Gotcha. Let me take that back. Just a regular Monday. Like Tuesday, you have a science test. Yep. This will get off a science test. Okay. What advice are you giving okay. to a young individual in this predicament? Well, first of all, you should have put yourself in this goddamn predicament. No, 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 no. no, 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 no already there. I know. Already, there. already there. there. So first thing you want to do when you wake up, get your water in. You need to stay hydrated for real. If you're gonna fail this test, the science test, you need to study for it. Whatever science it is, what did you say? Chemistry. Science. 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 Science, science, science tests, all the science. It's, it's all a, the it's goddamn sciences. The only thing there is to do is wing it. Once you get in this classroom, the worst thing for you to do at this point is to stress out. So what you want to do is, you know, focus on your breathing. If you out here like anxious and, you know, like, <sighs> you want to just, you know, get you, get you, get you. She, she making fun of me, but I'm, I'm being serious. You know, you want to stay as calm as possible. Do you think I, college is worth it? I think college is worth it if you have a plan for after with your degree. Smart. Okay. Do you plan on going to college? Stay safe. You know, because she's a dropout now. If you do want to watch Howard-related content, it's done. <laughs> my channel at Max McGaddy. She gonna put it on the screen right here. Big. <laughs> The apartment is officially empty, and this is the last time we will be seeing it. Which sounds depressing, but I promise you it's not depressing because my new room is gonna be just as good, if not better. A view that I never showed you guys because then you could find me and kidnap me. Buy floors, buy kitchen, buy apartment. 
final light switch. Oh, take your final glance. Does it ever drive you crazy? Just how fast